What is up, world? It is your dog, Norf, back at you again with some totally amazing fursuit content. Today, we're going to be talking about the most effective ways to get the raunchy smell of sweat out of your nasty fursuit crotch. So the first thing you're going to need is some mouthwash. And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, what is going on? What are you doing? Oh, hi, Norfair. We were just talking about how disgusting fursuits are. You see, sometimes the sweat in the crotch- You're doing what? Dude, the Supreme Lookbook dropped almost a week ago, and you haven't even made a video about it yet. You've barely even tweeted about it. Like, the world needs to know what you- a random guy on the internet think about the upcoming season. Wait, didn't you hear? I don't make videos about Supreme anymore. I'm a furry YouTuber now. I only make videos about things I can either A, snuggle, B, fuck, or C, snuggle fuck. Dude, you're being so cringy right now. I can't even deal with it. I, I thought you were supposed to be the card decline king. You're, you're the brick bandit, right? You're supposed to be the BOGO doggo! Have you even seen the Oreos? Dude, talk about the Oreos! The people crave it! Gosh, you're you're really putting me on the spot here. Um, I guess if that's what you think the people want, then I'll talk about Supreme. Now I want you to put on the goggles and go make some good content and flex on the hose. You little bitch. Fuck. Okay. What is up, world? It is your dog, Norf, back at you again with some Supreme videos. Uh, I haven't done any Supreme-related videos in a while because, uh, because the Fall Winter 19 season ended in December, so it's been like two months since there's been any Supreme drops happening. So, I haven't really done too much of that kind of stuff. However, the new season of Supreme is upon us. They blessed us with the lookbook and the preview for the spring-summer 2020 season, like, a week ago. And that contained pretty much every item that's going to be releasing this coming season. So, with that, we got to take a look at all the shirts, all the jackets, all the pants, all the hats all the skateboards, all the accessories, pretty much everything that's gonna be releasing, we now have seen. And oh my gosh, there is some trash dropping this season. <laughs> I mean, there, there's always a little bit of trash that's dropping every season, uh, and this season is no different. There's also a lot of really, really cool stuff though. And some of my favorite Supreme items are the accessories. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at every single accessory that is releasing for the spring-summer 2020 season. And we're going to be ranking them uh, from the best all the way down to the worst. And we're just going to kind of talk a bunch of shit. <laughs> <coughs> we have like 45 accessories to talk about, so... Let me, uh, let me take a sip of my energy drink here. I am gonna need that caffeine. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm ready to get into this. So, let's just get right to it and start looking at these accessories. I am opened up right here to, uh, tiermaker.com. If you are interested in making your own tier list, by the way, uh, I'm gonna put the link for this in the description, and I wanna see what you guys come up with. I wanna see your tier list. I wanna see what you guys put at the top. I wanna see what you put at the bottom. I'm very, very curious to see if we have similar lists. So if you're not familiar with Tier Maker, basically uh, you rank things from S, which we're going to say means uh, supreme and then you rank them all the way down to the D tier which I guess is the worst tier so all the bad shit goes down to the D tier and then you have a B and C tiers which are all the middle range so we're just gonna get started ranking all these accessories uh, we're probably not going to see too much in the D tier just because I love everything supreme does but we'll see starting things off we have the supreme mechanics 
work gloves. They just, they have like nails all over them, which is kind of weird. Honestly though, I really like these. I think these are fucking sick. And actually at my job, I have to wear gloves like this. So when these drop, I'm probably gonna try to grab a pair of them to actually wear for work. So the fact that this is a usable accessory already puts it higher up on my list. And the fact that I just like the design puts it even higher up on my list. I don't know if this is S tier exactly, but these gloves, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw these on the A tier. Next up, we have the Supreme Hanes Boxer Briefs, which they release every season. It's not really anything too spectacular. We're gonna throw that on the C tier. Next up, we've got the Motion Logo, like longboard skate deck. I love the Motion Logo. I'm absolutely crazy about that. And these colors are fucking cool too. Like that lime green one, like that's a sick color for a longboard. The blue one, just that stands out a ton. And that white logo on there looks so fucking clean. And the black one, I'm not like, I like the black one the least. And even the black one is fucking sick. I love this design. This is a very, very sick board. And I like that it's a longboard and not just a skate deck. That gives it like an added little touch that I really like. Will I be copping? Eh, probably not, but I still really like this board. I love the motion logo, I love the colors. So we're gonna throw this up on the B tier. All right, next up we got the Supreme Glass Ashtray. This is fucking sick. It looks like it's got a debossed logo on there. This looks like a very, very thick, strong ashtray. And I probably am gonna be acquiring one of these for myself once they release. Uh, but there's not really anything too crazy about it. Just says, SUP! Really big on it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one on the B tier, right in the middle. Next up, we got the Supreme Hanes, like, wife beaters. <laughs> Man, I don't even wanna waste any time talking about this. Nobody needs this. Wife beater, tank top, whatever you wanna call it. This is absolutely horrible, and that is gonna be the first item on the D tier. Next up, we got the Supreme Glow in the Dark Zippo Lighter. There's not really anything too crazy about it. They've done this design before on a red Zippo Lighter. I don't know, I'm not really too crazy about the Zippos just because I don't use them myself. But it doesn't really look bad and I'm very curious to see how it glows. We're gonna throw the Zippo Lighter again right on the B tier. Moving on, we got the Supreme like gold necklace thing. So they release a necklace, I think it's every season. They do a new pendant necklace. They're always real gold, which means they are real expensive. It's just like a gold box, it says Supreme on it. They've definitely released better pendants in the past. I'm just, I'm not really too crazy about it. Just a necklace with a Supreme pendant just doesn't seem appealing to me personally. We're gonna throw that down on the C tier. Next up, we got the Supreme. This is like a multi-tool. I think they called it a rebar. I don't know what the fuck that is. Basically, you have all these different tools on this one tool. So you can be a tool while you flex 20 different tools on this tool. I think this is really sick. Just like with the mechanics work gloves, the fact that this is an item that actually has a little bit of usability to it, actually, a lot of usability to it. This puts this item up high on my list. This isn't something that you're just gonna have sitting on a shelf. You're actually gonna be able to get some use out of this. So for that reason alone, and the fact that there's, it's so fucking cool, we're gonna put this on the A tier. I really like that. If it wasn't like $120, I would definitely be grabbing one of those, but that's just too much for a tool. I can absolutely see the price on that dropping like a week after it releases so definitely don't buy that for retail it's gonna brick i can guarantee it all right up next we got the supreme speedo goggles uh nobody asked for this i'm gonna be honest nobody asked for this i think these box logos going all the way across it are kind of kind of tacky something i've been realizing lately is there's supreme items for just about everybody out there like for me, for example, like with the mechanics gloves, that's something I can use at my job. Like they release a whole bunch of accessories for specific groups of people. There's definitely swimmers out there that will like this, but this just isn't for me personally. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on the C tier. Just not really feeling it. I'm not gonna be acquiring those. That's not my bag. 
Moving on, we got the Supreme Spitfire wheels. This is something they release every season. I don't know if this is the same colors they do or not. I think it's the same colors, like, every single time. So we got red, white, gold. Uh, nothing too crazy about it. We're gonna put the skate wheels on the D tier. Just because, I mean, they're definitely useful. It's a cool item, but they release them every single season, and they always look the same. Just switch it up a little bit. Let's get something new. Like, maybe a red wheel with, like, sup on it? I don't know, like, what you have on that Zippo right there? I don't know, just a suggestion. Uh, but yeah, not too crazy about that. Moving on, we have the Transparent Lock, which... Do not use this. <laughs> Oh, a, a lock picker would have a field day with this lock. Or if you're if you want to learn how to lock pick, this is the lock for you. Definitely do not put this on a suitcase or a locker or anything that you actually want to keep safe because this is not going to work. <laughs> but that being said, it is a very very cool lock. So we are going to put this on the A tier. And I just realized we don't have anything on the S tier yet. We're gonna have to, we gotta step it up a notch. Let's get some cool shit in here. All right, up next, we got this bowl. Uh, I don't even know what to think about it. It's just a bowl, like, I mean, I guess it looks cool. Um, it's probably gonna be like $100 or something. Uh, I wouldn't be eating out of it. Or maybe I would. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I gotta give it points because it's not something they do very much. I think they made the, uh, the ramen bowl that one time, but I don't know if they've made any bowls since then. Uh, we're gonna throw this on the C tier. Moving on, we have the Supreme Newmark Portable Turntable. I am so crazy about this accessory, mostly for the price point. The fact that it's under $200 is great to me i love this i don't own a record player currently so i definitely want this again it does have functionality to it there's a speaker on this turntable as well so you don't need any like external speakers it has the built-in speaker i believe retail is 168 dollars very reasonable for a turntable let me silence my phone <laughs> very reasonable price for a turntable and the fact that it's a newmark turntable and it's a Supreme turntable, like two great brands. I love this. I'm excited about this accessory. And this is going to be the first item on the S tier because that is some supremely cool shit. Up next, we have the, I think this is the distorted logo skateboard. Uh, out of all the skate decks that are releasing this season, I think I like this one the least. I'm not really too crazy about the colors. The distortion aspect of it just doesn't really Eh, it's kind of whatever to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this board on the D tier. Up next, we have the We Wanted to Be Known as Supreme Towel. This towel is pretty cool. I love these colorways. However, just there's not really too much about it. Just text on a towel. I don't really think that's too crazy. However, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one on the B tier just because of the crazy colorways. I love those colors. Those are fucking sick. All right, next up we have one of my favorite accessories of the season by far. This is like a straw mat. I think that's what it is. Let me, let me double check because I'm really freaking stupid. So this is the woven straw mat. It's 76 inches by 27 inches. So that's like two feet by like i don't know six feet this is a big mat this is absolutely sick i love both of these colorways i am going to pick one of these up for my kitchen so help me god i need this mat we are gonna go ahead and throw this into the s tier i love that shit okay here it is the moment you've all been waiting for we got the supreme oreos by now everybody's heard about the supreme oreos everybody's like oh my god eight dollars for three cookies first of all okay this is me talking directly to you you watching this there is no confirmed price on these oreos yet supreme hasn't confirmed a price oreo hasn't confirmed a price 
we never know what the retail prices on any supreme items are going to be until the week of the drop and that is that so we don't know if they're going to be eight dollars we don't know if they're going to be eighty dollars for all we know they could be like two dollars but we are going to find out sometime this season that being said supreme oreos bro that's s tier come on of course that's s tier how couldn't it be like bruh i don't even have to talk about this it it speaks for itself but i am going to talk about it so we've all seen that picture that actually it leaked like at least a year ago maybe even two years ago of the dude holding the supreme oreo in his hand i think it was on like reddit or something and the dude said uh my dad works for nabisco and sent me this photo or some shit but it is an old photo it's not new at all and i did not expect it to be real i did not think this was going to be a thing that actually happened but here we are over a year later and it's happening so that's pretty cool i am going to be getting as many packs of these as i can i'm really hoping this is one of those deals where they'll let you buy like five to ten packs like they did with the Ludens or the Band-Aids or the Post-It Flags. I hope this is one of those items where you can get multiples. I need to turn off my heater. I am burning up. I should have turned that off before I started this video. So let me, let me do that. And you know what? I'm going to pee really quick too. All right, much better. Next up, we have the Supreme Hanes Tagless Tees. Again, an item they release every season. We're going to go ahead and throw that on the D tier. Like, honestly, I'm a little bit surprised at how how much stuff is on the D tier right now and how little is on the S tier. Like, this is a very, a very well-rounded list right here. Like, everything's kind of evenly matched almost. All right, next up, we have the Supreme, like, bicycle helmet. Um, I don't have the information on this right in front of me, so I can't say if it's a specific brand or not. Red, black, it's basic. Uh, like I said, there are items that Supreme makes for pretty much every kind of person. So if you're into biking, this is definitely an item for you. I am actually going to throw this one on the A tier. I really like that. Next up, we have these stackable mugs. Really, really cool. I have the stackable cup set that they put out. A few years back it may have been 2017 or so so this is similar to that except this is a set of mugs the red ones are kind of boring but those clear ones go crazy i love that so i'm gonna go ahead and throw these up on the a tier all right next up we have the supreme spalding like george washington uh basketball and i will be totally real with you guys this is an ugly fucking basketball however the fact that basketballs aren't something that supreme releases very often puts this higher on my list like i think they've only released like two maybe three basketballs in the past so i think that's a little bit cooler it's a harder item to come by so for that fact alone we are going to throw this all the way up on the s tier like i don't know i i like it it's an ugly basketball but it's a cool item next up we got the supreme binoculars this is the type of accessory that i absolutely love from supreme red accessory supreme branding i don't know anything about binoculars i don't know how they work i don't know if you like twist the thing at the top uh to like focus or anything i i know absolutely nothing however you bet your ass i'm gonna try to get a set of these binoculars that's the shit. i'm gonna throw the binoculars up on the a tier that is a cool accessory. It reminds me a lot of Supreme's older accessories, so that makes me like it a lot. Next up, we have the Tupac Hologram Skate Deck, uh, C tier. I don't really have too much to say about it. They took the Tupac Hologram and just put a Supreme logo on his boxers. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's just so ridiculous. I, I can't even deal with that. Next up, we have the Supreme Incense Burner. Uh, this is really cool. I didn't even notice it at first, but it looks like this is magnetic. Uh, we got two colorways. We got black and white. I like the functional accessories, um, but this design on here, I'm not really too crazy about. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the B tier. All right, next up, we have two decks. We got two for the price of one. Uh, not really. We just have two on this one picture, I guess. We have the cherries deck. 
and we have the bling deck i think both of these are fucking sick i really love the cherries deck in fact i would go as far as to say the cherries deck may be my favorite skate deck supreme has ever done i really like it it has a very vintage look to it like the way the background is like not a perfect white the way it's kind of like off white it gives a kind of a vintage feel to it uh i think that goes crazy and the bling deck just i love it it's it's just it's fucking cool there's a lot going on it's interesting to look at these are two really cool skate decks i'm gonna go ahead and throw these on the S tier, next up we have the Supreme Waterproof Lighter Keychain thing. This is fucking sick. I love this. And I believe it does come with a lighter included as well. So I'm really curious to see if it's a Supreme branded lighter or what. But that is really cool to me. I love this accessory. And it's probably not going to be too expensive either. So relatively affordable is always a plus it's got the big branding on it and it comes with a lighter so uh all around very good we're gonna throw that on the s tier next up we have the supreme pipe skate tool and i it's called a pipe skate tool i don't know if that's an actual like usable weed pipe or what i mean i'm gonna try to smoke weed out of it i don't know if that's what it's meant for but I'll give it a shot. I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the A tier. And next up, we have the bling towel. We got it in two colorways. We have the regular color, and then we have this red one. I'm not really too crazy about the towel. The skate deck is cool, but this, uh, we're going to give it, uh, we're going to give it C tier. Next up, we got a Supreme Umbrella. Fuck yeah. S tier. This is so sick. I love checkerboard designs, first of all. And this has, like, a black and white Supreme shit on it. I'ma be real with y'all. If they made a box logo with this on it, like, if this was the box logo, that would be so fucking sick, my dudes. They don't release umbrellas very often. I think they've done a few in the past, but definitely not something that they do every season. So it does have a little bit of uniqueness to it and it just looks cool so yeah that is s tier for sure up next we got this uh skeleton in a coffin keychain and i'm gonna be real with y'all when i die i want to be buried in a supreme coffin it's got to be red with the box logo you feel me i'm not too crazy about a lot of supreme's keychains they've been doing lately but this one is pretty fucking sick so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this one uh we'll throw it on the b tier just because it's not really it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's it's right in the middle. All right, up next, we have this super extravagant belt. Like, bro. All right, let me say a few things about this belt. First of all, this belt is made of Italian leather, and those jewels on it, those are Swarovski crystals, which is absolutely crazy. And the fact that this belt is made of Italian leather, that's going to make the price go way up if you recall from last season supreme did release some italian leather nikes that i believe retailed for like 600 dollars, and people actually fucking paid that much this is going to be an extremely expensive belt and i am not here for it but i'm gonna be real with y'all the more i look at it the more i kind of like it but it's about to be way too expensive so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw it on the d tier i'm sorry like the more i look at it the more i like it but I can't justify how much that thing's going to cost. So D tier for sure. Up next, we have the Supreme Independent Trucks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the trucks on the D tier just because it's so common. They do it every season. All right. Up next, we have the Supreme Fujifilm Inst insta x or instax i don't know uh mini instant film i am going to buy one of these fuji film cameras just to be able to use this stuff like this is really really cool this has to be s tier 100 percent. no not a tier s tier that's better up next we got supreme ziploc bags i don't even know what to say about this like it's a ziploc bag with a box logo on it it's really fucking cool this may be one of the coolest collabs Supreme has done in a really long time. I am crazy about this. We're going to throw this up on the S tier. All right, up next, we have the Supreme S&M 1995 BMX dirt bike. That is a mouthful. 
I don't know what makes this a dirt bike. I don't know like what qualifies it to call itself that because as far as I know, dirt bikes are like the, the thing. So I don't know why this is a dirt bike, but it's really sick. It's going to be an expensive bike for sure. From what I hear, there's only going to be like 60 of them available. So you can absolutely bet that these are all going to get backdoored to Supreme friends and family, much like the Honda dirt bike got backdoored last season. We're going to throw this on the A tier. Put that right up there. All right, up next, we have the Supreme Mac Tools Tech Workstation. So every season, Supreme does one really extravagant accessory that's just huge with big branding on it that's just a ridiculous fucking thing to own and it looks like th that's what this is for this season if you're a mechanic you could definitely own one of these i guess i don't know like a regular person i couldn't see owning this maybe if you have like a garage workshop where you build things uh maybe you could throw this in there it's going to be very expensive i think these workstations like just without the supreme branding cost quite a bit of money like a few thousand dollars i'm really not too sure i tried to look up how much these tool benches cost and i couldn't even find any info on that like everything i saw was you have to call the mac tools company to get a quote on how much they cost so that already tells me that this is a really really expensive item i could see it being at least five thousand dollars like that's low end <laughs> but it's really fucking sick look at that big spell out on there are you kidding that is s tier for sure next up we have this like hand woven blanket um and c tier i don't even really have anything to say about it just it's whatever. All right, we got the lawn chair. This is so fucking cool. Another one of my favorite accessories that's releasing this season. You can be like lounging at the beach. You can be lounging at your kid's soccer game. You could be lounging in my living room instead of in this chair. Uh, very sick chair, box logos all over it. This is S tier for sure. All right, up next we got this water bottle i guess i don't know what brand it's a collab with but this is really cool it's got like the little koozie here on the outside that's fucking sick and when you take it out you got the box logo on the bottle itself a uh, very cool accessory i'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the a tier all right we got the supreme hanes sock collab which again something they do every season the red socks i really like these a lot more than the regular white or black socks that they do uh but at the same time they put them out every single season i'm gonna throw these on the c tier next we have the supreme rawlings like baseball catchers chest protector and this is a very very sick piece like i keep thinking to myself how fucking cool it would be to get this chest protector and one of the catcher's masks that Supreme did, and also have one of the classic Supreme baseball mitts with one of the Supreme baseballs. If you have all of these items, you could make such a sick photo for your Instagram. But again, like I keep saying, Supreme makes items that are for everybody, no matter what you're into, what, what your hobbies are, what you do. There is definitely a Supreme product out there for you. So if you play baseball and you like Supreme, this is the item for you. If I played baseball, I would go for one of these. Fuck it. Why not? A tier. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have the Supreme Bird Call. This is releasing uh, week one with a retail price of $20. Again, this has all the makings of a classic Supreme accessory, just like those binoculars. I absolutely love this. In fact, I could probably take this bird call and the binoculars out into like the woods and just go on a fucking safari you know what i'm saying that would be fucking badass that's a tier up next we have a keychain and this keychain is stupid i'm just not crazy about this like at all that's d tier baby okay we got it we got the supreme rain poncho it's right here that is S tier all the way. It is a ballpark brand poncho. It's just, it's a white poncho 
with a Supreme box logo on it. If you can't afford a box logo t-shirt, I got good news for you. This is the free gift that they're giving away with the week one orders this year. So if you see anything for week one that you want, go ahead and buy it and Supreme will send you one of these ponchos along with it. I'm probably never going to wear it in the rain, but I probably will wear it for like a photo one time. We'll see. I don't know. All right, we got another Supreme deck. I don't know what the name of this deck is. I don't have the information here in front of me, but I love this so much. I love this yellow one. I love this purple one. The black one I could live without, but the other two colors are fucking sick. We're going to throw it on the B tier. And that brings us to our final item to rank here, and that is the Supreme Speedo, like, swimmers cap. It's not for me, but it's, I guess it's a cool item. Uh, we're going to throw it on the C tier. I don't really have too much to say about it. It's just, it's a swim cap. So if you swim, that is the item for you. But yeah, that is, that's what we got. So we have a, a pretty well-rounded list here, I think. There is so much cool stuff coming out this season, you guys. Like, if I could afford every single one of these accessories, I would absolutely get everything that's that's the level of like love i have for the supreme accessories like the accessories are what got me into supreme and then the clothes came later i've always been crazy about the accessories anyway let me put this on over here so uh like i said there is going to be a link for this tier list maker in the description so go ahead and like make your own tier list and tweet it to me like take a screenshot or whatever and tweet it to me at NorfDog. I want to see what you guys think. If you don't feel like making one of these tier lists, but you still have an opinion on some of these accessories, go ahead and just comment that, and I'm very curious to see what you guys think. Anyway, um, I think that's going to do it for this video, you guys. You can follow me on Twitter, at NorfDog, like I said. Follow me on Instagram, at NorfDog, with a D-A-W-G. You can check out my personal Supreme store. That is dropsbynorf.bigcartel.com. I have lower prices than StockX on Dead Stock Supreme items, so check some of that stuff out. You can expect some more Supreme videos from me in the upcoming season. I try to do at least one Supreme video every week. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. My work schedule has me really busy a lot of the time, so I'm not going to make any promises, but we'll see. I've been thinking about doing like a tutorial on how to buy supreme for all of my like new people who are interested in learning i get messages almost every day of people asking me like how to buy supreme they don't know when drops happen they don't know when items are releasing so people ask me all the time for like tips on that kind of thing so i'm thinking maybe i'll just make a video about it we'll see if that's something you're interested in comment that shit and yeah that's that's all i got so i will catch you guys in the next video so until next time Peace the fuck out. Um, I'm looking for something I can like throw at the camera. Um, do I have anything here? I got nothing. <laughs> okay, peace out, guys.